Searching for answers for nearly 40 years now, it's the unimaginable reality for the families of three realtors who were murdered inside a West Houston realty office back in 1973. And although the case has gone cold, the family of one of the victims is hopeful a state of the art Woodlands lab can get them answers. Our Zach Lashway looked into how this lab is using innovative technology in solving crimes around the country. Construction now covers a plot of mystery. Three realtors, Elizabeth Shoemate, Joanne Brown, and Francis Ivey, were murdered inside Shoemate and Company, a realty office that once stood on this property. The day was August 19, 1983. The day after Hurricane Alicia. For Sarah Ivey Edwards and Helen Ivey Maldonado, it was the darkest day of their lives. And the phone rang, and of course, I jumped to the phone and they asked if this was Fran Ivey's residence, and I said, yes, it is, but she's not here. And they told me that there's been a shooting at Shoemate & Company, and we're not sure, but we think your mother is involved. I think it was a hit. I don't think the person that actually killed them did that on their own. 40 years have passed. Do you think someone alive today knows something? Yes, I do, absolutely, absolutely. The case file is among one of Houston Police Department's unsolved mysteries. How many cold cases does HPD have? Just over 6,000 cold cases. Sergeant Richard Rodriguez heads the agency's cold case division. Right now, one of the big things, again, goes back to DNA. So what physical evidence do I have? They did do some testing in this case back in 2006. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't come back with very good results. Now it's just a matter of, okay, when do we pull the trigger? Do we do it now or do we wait and, le and let this stuff get, get better? I do believe that most cases that have DNA that are sitting in a cold case can be resolved using this technology. We have taken the most advanced genomic technologies. We've adopted them for forensic use. Othram is the first lab in the world that was purpose-built to identify perpetrators or victims from crime scenes. Kristen Middleman is Chief Development Officer of Othram. Othram was started by Kristen and her husband David Middleman in 2018. With a team of just four people, Othram began solving mysteries immediately. First, it was a few hits a month, then several answers a week. And now the lab is solving multiple cases a day with more than 50 people at its headquarters in the Woodlands. Most cases that have DNA that are sitting in a cold case can be resolved using this technology. According to Othram, it has processed evidence with trace DNA, solving cases with just 15 human cells. This is equivalent to 0.1 nanograms of DNA. To put this into perspective, if I touch the back of this chair, I leave behind hundreds of cells. I believe this technology one day will be used to bring justice to all cases and not just some cases. And it's hard to use the word justice if it only works sometimes. We often held in our hands someone's last chance to justice, someone's last chance to figure out what happened to their loved one. Yeah, there's a lot of trust there. Kristen says she does not take that trust lightly. It's similar to the trust families of murder victims put into law enforcement agencies handling their loved one's case, even four decades later. What does that do to a family 40 years without answers? Well, we go on. Life does go on. If this does get solved, will you be there to see justice is served? Oh, not only Absolutely. yes, but hell yes. <laughs> hell yes. Othram has returned investigative leads in more than 1,000 cases. The Ivy case is not in the hands of Othram at this time. For more information on Othram or the murder of Francis Ivy, look for this story on clicktohouston.com. I'm Zach Lajoy, KPRC 2 News.